Darling, this potato looks like Del Boy in Fools and Horses. Which one? David Jason. Which potato? <laughs> you don't want the invitations to the Christmas party, do you? Yeah, we do. <laughs> that one stands, Brent. What, sushi? What does that mean? Sake from 6.30. Sake? I'm not being sake, I'm asking. <laughs> Why is our Christmas party all Japanese? Because of the merger. This'll be in honour of what's he called? Mr Tashimoto. Because normally it's a few dodgy pies and a disco. It's show up, throw up and bog off home. <laughs> <laughs> what's formal mean? A dress. Hey, oh, Brennan, a dress. Be still my trousers. Give me. <laughs> I've got a brilliant dress, actually. It's more with straps. Does it cover any of your erogenous zones? Depends what time it is. <laughs> Stan, party invite. That should have been in my pigeonhole by right. We're going all formal and Japanesey. Come on, girls, let's feed faces. You wait till after the merger. We'll all be in pyjamas at five o'clock in the morning doing jujitsu. Hey, I'll have to get a dress. Do not start, Brent. Sorry. Who's everybody bringing then? I fancy Debore. As a guest? As a fabric from a dress. <laughs> it sounded like an ethnic boyfriend. Debore Singh, Debore Patel. Do some flipping work. <laughs> Boardroom. And the other two downstairs, OK? Good enough. Can I have Stan? You can. Stan! We've got a spider. Are you taking someone? Am I? To the party? Yes, yes, I am. Probably. Hopefully. Possibly not. <laughs> I suppose. Depends. <laughs> My marriage guidance counsellor says it could be a catalyst. Can you not stick to short words, Jean? Like bra? <laughs> Stan! Well, your counsellor does know a lot about it, Jean, I expect. Well, you'd think so. But for a person with a full sex life, she's done a heck of a lot of tapestries. <laughs> How do? How's your casters? Running smooth? Very. I'm skidding about all over the shop. I greased the spindles. Good on you. Stan, there's a huge spider in our little wash basin. Tom Murray wants to hit it with the Daily Mail. Can you do anything? Aha! Yes! <clears throat> I've been hoping this might happen. Come on. <laughs> Are you fixed up, Brent? You what? For do. Are you taking your man? What man? Him you met at car boot sale. Oh, him? No. That were a bit uh, summer to now, actually. It never... Well, it could have, you know, but it never actually... It was just one of those didn't am type things. <laughs> I have a lot of them. <laughs> Still, I got rid of my tea's made. <laughs> So who will you take? Oh, I'll come on my own. I'm not bothered. You can't come on your own. It's formal. You need a man on your arm. I'll ask Stan. That was a joke. <laughs> He'd be in like Flynn would, Stan. He fancies you. Give over. He'll be on your doorstep with his telescopic spider catcher. Give flipping over. <laughs> Do you want to come with me? Eh? I'll take you. To the party? Do you want to? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, yeah. Are you sure? Are you not like otherwise thingy bob? Thingy bob? I'm not even what you may call it. <laughs> <laughs> OK, then. Great. You're on. Yeah. Bren! Bren, can you sponsor me for landmines? Whoops! <laughs> <laughs> Didn't realise I was popping into hunk heaven. <laughs> I feel like Marie Osmond. Do you? And she wasn't as chipper as she seemed, away from the footlights. Marie? <laughs> Mary, I called her, and I think she liked it. She tried to give me a condo in Salt Lake City just after she had that big hit with Paper Roses. <laughs> I said, Mary, I love you, my darling, but I'm too outspoken. A lot of what the Mormons do, I can't swallow it. <laughs> do you want a cup of tea? No fluids. It's my heart. Mr. Vitkunas said that with an aorta like mine, I should have died in March 1973. <laughs> I said, that's a bit spooky, actually, Anton, because it was in March 1973 that I had my out-of-body experience. <laughs> Do you remember, Brent? No. Oh, no, you weren't there. Mm. <laughs> I was floating above my own kaftan. <laughs> Can you sponsor me over the Kalahari Desert? I'll probably peg out on route, but what does it matter? I've had my life to sign here. <laughs> Can't believe Hockney's handwriting, can you? <laughs> but hasn't he given us pleasure with his naked boys? <laughs> you could stamp up now if you'd rather. Oh, OK. I get me purse. Oh, what's this? It's our do. We're going a bit upmarket. Oh. Who will you take, Bren? Hey? 
What date is it? Oh, I'll just be in my van that night. <laughs> All on me own some, which I love. Rather be in than out these days. Pat Phoenix was the same, for all her bravado. <laughs> Shall I come with you, Bren? No, it's all right. No, let me. Has she told you what a terrible mother I am? I am terrible. Put her in an orphanage and lost the address. <laughs> well, we laugh about it now. <laughs> I don't mind, Bren. I'll drag myself out. The thing is, I'd ask Bren to go with me. But you don't want to take Bren, surely? You can see her bumbling about any day of the working week. I know who you can take. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, Anna, here she is. Just your type, I bet. Leggy, bit of cleavage. Um. Tina, you'll love her. She's gorgeous, like a Black Mary Hopkin. <laughs> as a foursome. Bang us a couple of yum-tums, Bren. <laughs> I've kicked that urinal into touch. Have you? It was your back pressure flow through. It would have been. Now, Tony, <laughs> this is my usual, but should I branch out? <laughs> What are these? Oh, the veg man just came. You saw the lights on. Now, this is more of a holiday hair piece. <laughs> yeah, I see what you mean. Uh, there's beers here, Stan, OK? Help yourself. No, I won't, actually. I want to keep semi alert. We're going to be at full stretch, lavatory wise. I can't find tuna ball cock if I'm tipsy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. Really? <laughs> You'd be fighting the girls off with that on your head, Stan. You might be right. <laughs> Hands off mine, though. Bren's mum's bringing me a hot date. <laughs> Who's this, then? This is Hugo. We're not in a relationship. <laughs> Ocean Boulevard. Hi, Hugo. This is Stan. Hello. What's your name, love? <laughs> <laughs> this is Tiffany. She's not my best mate, because my best mate's fight of a skip. Have a drink, kids. <laughs> Oh, I say, whistles of wolf. <laughs> Blimey, what's that perfume? Oh, for jeans, it's Charlie. Mine's Estee Lauder Youth do. <laughs> <laughs> what's yours, Twink? Climax. <laughs> Stan, are you sporting any aroma? Just the usual. Swarf eager. <laughs> Where's Bren? Bren! I am. No sign of Keith and Bob. <laughs> Bren, party, overall? No, I know, but seeing as I was just waiting for me ma'am, I thought I'd put all my cans in alphabetical order. Stop it, Bren. No, it's brilliant in there now. Bren, shut up. Dad's Bob! I bet he turned left at the ploughman's. I saw the lights on. Can I get you a drink? No, I better not. I'm sort of on duty. Ditto. I'm keeping an ear out for cistern trouble. What's that perfume? Charlie, hers is use due. Bren, overall coming off at all? Uh, did you want a drink, Philippa? No, I've got to stand by for Mr Tashimoto. He absolutely won't make up his mind about this match. It's driving me mad. Look, I'm going to pop back for a drink, OK? Because I'm not staying with Michael all night, that's for sure. See you later, bum cracks. You don't know. <laughs> See you. Did you do that left turn at the ploughman's? What say? Oh, don't say what say. Hello, Keith. I don't want an evening of what say, pardon, and say again. Say again. <laughs> it's not deaf, it's totally selective. It can hear a bag of oven chips being opened from three doors away. <laughs> Excuse me, have you seen this top before? Uh, I think I have, haven't I? Oh, where have I worn it, pray? At Sarah's wedding. That was sage. This is anthracite. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Cheers. What well, say? Oh, come on. I want to get a look at this Mr Tashimoto. Pardon? Oh. <laughs> no libido and now colourblind. Move it. <laughs> libido? It's an aftershave stamp. Oh, it would, be. <laughs> it would be. I've always thought it'd be rather comical to have an aftershave called Stan. Could lead to an amusing bit of badinage, could that? What are you wearing, Stan? 